Cody, welcome to Varsity Football Club. Uh, finally got it over the line. I understand you've been close to joining us before, but, th- but this time it has happened. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a number of years, actually. I spoke to, to Jerry on a kind of regular occasion. Um, different circumstances have meant different things, and I've moved at different times, but one that I've always kept in mind, and I kind of knew at some point it would come to fruition. Um, and luckily it's been this season. Um, and just delighted to get over the line and, and hopefully get, to, get off to a flying start. You spent last season at Weymouth. It ended for you in February. So can you explain the circumstances behind that? Yeah, it was a strange, strange old season, to be fair. Obviously, um, that was kind of the lowest level it went down to in terms of continuing. Mm. Um, and the club found out kind of in early do- in sort of February time that there was no relegation. So they, they just es- essentially chose to put a number of players on furlough. Um, me and kind of 10 others or, or whatever number it was. So at that point, I knew... Um, what I was, what was kind of going on in my head in terms of I was going to be leaving in the summer and and trying to look around and then that was quite an easy conversation re- really with Jerry because I probably only spoke to him a few months prior in terms of when I first joined Weymouth. Um, I was speaking to him regularly, so it was kind of an easy conversation to ch- to try and get done um, to speak to him and then get something sorted and then within a kind of matter of weeks it, it was done and dusted. So I kind of knew for a little while now that I'd be I'd be coming this way. So it's good to know. How else have you been keeping busy in the last couple of months? It's uh, it's been it's been again. Uh, I think probably everyone's going to say it's been a strange old season mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, I've managed to kind of get rid of those little niggly injuries that you've had for a long period. And when you're playing for long periods of time with no break, um, you could get you know you, you don't have those big long rest periods. So it's been nice to to kind of do those uh, bits that I've done it myself. I've kept fit, kept training. Um, I'm a qualified personal trainer, so I can do with those sort of things as well. I'm a teacher down at Exeter College, so I'm quite um, knowledgeable in that area in terms of, of sport, science and sort of fitness and those sort of things in an interesting area that I'm, I'm really interested in. So I've managed to keep myself ticking over and hopefully that will show kind of come pre-season that um, I'm fit and raring to go. So your, your first season back at this level for a couple of years, uh, you did well at Truro, got 13 goals, 2017-18. One was against us, so you know a little bit about it. By this level, you looking forward to it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's probably one thing that you know I've, I've I'm kind of tried and tested at this level. I've done it before, this, so I've got every faith that I can do it again. I've, I've obviously gone on to to play in the Scottish Premiership mm. for a couple of years and play in the Conference for a year or so. So it's dropping down at a level, um, but one that you know I've, I've like I said I'm tried and tested, and um, hopefully I can kind of um, reciprocate that that same sort of form that I found a few years ago in this level. And hopefully that can kick us kind of in the in the top end of that table that we're looking for, and hopefully bringing on sort of playoffs and promotion. What are your key strengths to your game? Um, I like I like to be that kind of focal point at the, at, in 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 the in the front line. Uh, I like to hold the ball up. Uh, I like to think I'm good in the air and, and kind of strong. Um, so that would be kind of my main attributes in terms of bringing people into play, and then hopefully getting a few chances and scoring some goals. Does it help that one of the other players signed on? You you know him well. Does that help? Do you know anybody else here as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've uh, I haven't had loads of conversations with with Jerry the last few years. I've kind of kept my eye on mm. results and and players that have kind of come and gone. And I've knew knew a few kind of over the years. Most of them have kind of um, left now. But it's nice knowing who's come in. Um, ultimately, it makes you a little bit more comfortable that first day back when you're there on next Tuesday when everyone's back in. But you know, it's from what I've heard, it's it's a real tight group. Um, there'll be obviously some new faces and changes like every other season with every other group um, but I'm really looking forward to it and, and hopefully we can get a good long pre-season under our belts now and get to know each other um, and then with that comes some, come some good results. Yeah getting that nice long pre-season underway and then hopefully a full one after that what, what are your expectations for it? Um, well like I said that, that pre- long pre-season to start off with is, is a great thing I think Jerry made that clear in terms of um, he wanted that in terms of bringing in new faces and those sort of things. So it'll be it'll be nice getting those um, a good number of weeks under our belts and, and making sure you kind of get over those little um, kind of areas that that you want to to get over in terms of uh, little weaknesses and things that you pick up early doors. Um, but then we need to hit the ground running ultimately. And I think you know speaking to the manager, the main focus is ultimately to get out of this league. Um, and I know there's going to be a lot of teams putting kind of a lot of money into it this year. I've already seen a lot of teams putting um, 
signing some great players from leagues above and things like that. So we really need to hit the hit the ground running, um, which we've got every faith we can do. And like I said, that long preseason is going to be going to be really important. And then if we can start off to to a flyer and get things moving as in the direction that we want, you know, the the kind of sky's the limit in terms of where we can go as a group. So. Hopefully we can we can start things really well and, and the manager gets the recruitment right and the rest of the boys coming in and then um, it's up to us then. That's great. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the stripes in the next few months. Perfect. Cheers. You've added uh, another forward to your ranks as well in, in Cody Cook, a player I know you've been interested in for a while. Yeah, I'm so close to getting Cody. Um, we, were, we were close a couple of years ago when he went up to St Mir and I had a contract agreed with him. I've got to say, another great personality, great lad. You look at him, a real specimen, real physical specimen. Keeps himself really fit, hungry to succeed. As I said, he's, he's finished in the playoffs with Truro before. Um, went up to um, to the Scottish Premier League and played and you know scored a hat-trick up there against Dundee United, I think it was, for St Mirren. And then he came back and we almost got him again. He ended up going to Weymouth um, purely because he wanted to be tested, obviously, in a higher league. Things didn't quite work out for him there. Um, circumstance sort of led to that. And obviously, I was in conversation with him thereafter and... Um, Really pleased to get him in. He's really excited about coming in. He's living in Cheddar at the moment uh, with his partner's parents, so he's not he's not too far away. He'll be moving into a new house in Exeter as well. So he brings real a presence, an athleticism, um, a desire to work hard and press and run in behind. And I think he'll be um, a real good asset. He scored goals at this level as well for you know in his time at, at Truro. A lot of games played there at this level. I'm really excited to work with him as well.